I am living in my own city. I have born, I have been born and brought up here, and right now I have come to a situation where I need to think and do anything in the city before I go anywhere. I need to think twice if I can actually go to this place. And it came to why are you talking Canada in our area? You can't talk Canada in my area. Tell, give, give an image, give a message that you know. You cannot. You are a local Canadian. You cannot come to my area, and you cannot t uh, talk back to us. I think that, that that's what kind of image they wanted to give. I don't know if Canada was the trigger point, or I don't know what happened. Bangalore has the best, uh, uh, you know, safety. Uh, Bangalore has the beautiful places. Everything. Bangalore is the best. Bangalore is number one. But it's not safe for Bangalore people only. <laughs>
phone to make a call to the one of the inspectors that we knew. He, his name is Mr. Shivana. He is the inspector from R.R. Nagar. She calls him and says, Sir, itara tondre madhatadre. They have created a problem for us, and we are in such and such location. And puts puts him on the speaker. As soon as they heard this person talking, the cop talking on the phone, in a matter of ten seconds, all of them disperse. Forty people turn into six people, and the, the rest of them are gone. And I'm asking these people, Illi, Illa, or where are they gone? Where, who are they, those people? And these people are like, sir, Illa, sir, parva gilla, horidi niyo, auru yeno agilla, ni na aur kadendak shame kelti. In the sense, you know, you please leave. I, I'm asking you sorry from uh, you know all our uh, people and all that. And and I'm like, you were talking to that person until now. Tell me who he is. He wouldn't tell me. And then I said, it's okay, leave it. And I took the car. I searched for these people for a long time, couldn't find them. Searched them for almost 20 minutes, and then went to one of the uh, the hoysala cars, the petrol cars, which was there, the cops' car, car, and I asked them. Uh, I told them that you know such and such a situation happened, and what do we do? He said you have to talk to the higher ups. I I, I can't do anything or something like that. He wasn't interested. And then I came back to the car. I uh, sat with uh, my family and asked them what do we do? They uh, so Harshika says let's go give a complaint. We have to go give a complaint right now. And that's what my sister said as well. But then I was like, you know, I told them that since it's the election time, it might give a wrong sort of, a, it might take a wrong turn. That you know, uh, it, it might take a political turn. That you know, something happened like this in Bangalore, and you know, we were involved in stuff like that. So I told her, let's not uh, give a complaint as of now. Let's let's keep it uh, quiet. Once all of it is over, when. Everything is normal. We will go out and educate people about what happened to us, and we'll make sure that you know it doesn't happen in the future. And it went on, and you know, I, I taken injections and all that. And day before yesterday, she sees my hand. She feels bad that you know my wound is still not healed. And in that emotional uh, moment, she posts in Twitter saying, you know, this should not happen to anybody. This is what happened to us. This should not happen to anybody. And I am living in my own city. I have born. I have been born and brought up here. And right now, it's, I've come to a situation where I need to think and do anything in the city before I go anywhere. I need to think twice if I can actually go to this place. And after, I, I, I'm really scared, you know, about my safety in my own city. And. That, that, that's why she posted it, and she posted it, and the the media picked it up. Our well wishers called, and uh, you know everybody got to know about this. And I was actually in, in my native, and she calls me and says, you know, uh, I, I had to do it, and I actually told her it was not necessary right now. But then it happened, and then you know uh, all our well wishers called us and, and told us that. You know, uh, since it's come out, since people have already got to know about it, it's your moral duty as a responsible citizen to go give a complaint. Even though it's late, it's your moral responsibility to go give a complaint. We initially hesitated. We didn't want to give the complaint, but then, you know, after listening to you know people from the society, uh, people from the well-wishers and all that, they were like, "You have to give a complaint," and you know that's why we went to the commissioner today and you know uh, filed a complaint. Because the main target is your gold chain. Sir, actually. Uh, I don't know what their target was initially. As I told you, they started India off. Target, yeah. Initially, when they started off, it was just simple. You know, don't. It's a big car. Don't uh, move it without seeing. And then it came to why are you talking Canada in our area? You can't talk Canada in my area. You can't talk the lo local language. Bolian in Akko Bolko in that such stuff. They were talking to me. And then when in the process of all this happening, they snatched my chain. They tried to grab the mobile. They uh, took off the keys of my uh, vehicle. And all they wanted was, I think, to tell, give, give an image, give a message that you know. You cannot. You are a local Canadiga. You cannot come to my area, and you cannot t uh, talk back to us. I think that, that that's what the kind of image they wanted to give. Also, they probably, in the meanwhile, you know, Gumpali uh, Govinda this way in Canada. Get the gold chain, get the mobile as well. Anyway, we are here, and you know, and you know, the most horrible thing is that 40 men didn't have the shame that there were three, uh, two women in the car who were of a family. They were getting traumatized. What if the same thing would have happened to their family, their wives? They protect their wives, they protect their children, they protect their sisters. So, don't others have uh, children? They don't others have wives? Uh, aren't they traumatized as well? We need to think. About all this, we live in a society. Especially, Bangalore is supposed to be a safe city. We called we called a safe city. Bangalore is called a safe city. And 
what sort of a image are you giving to the world about bangalore by creating a ruckus to not people from outside but for people who are born and brought up in uh, you know the state of karnataka illa i don't think i don't think i don't think because uh, you know first of all it was around 7 uh, 745 is and they didn't seem drunk no okay. yeah thank you yeah uh, so my husband uh, bowen has already explained the whole situation what happened that day uh, we were definitely traumatized uh, me and my sister uh, we uh, we didn't know what was happening because all of it happened in just a span of 3 minutes um the initially it was like bowen mentioned initially they started creating a problem that it is a big car so make sure you know you're you're careful when you're moving and then bowen is like i tapa nee side bidu nan hogtini then is like oh ye kannada ke log you know that's how they started i don't know if kannada was the trigger point or i don't know what happened then suddenly they came and they started they they said they held bowen's collar they like trying to hit him and they trying to use words nanige uh, they they passing comments on me uh, and all kinds of things and then we we are like trying to we are already in the shock and we are still trying to uh, pictureize what is happening we are like as is this real or is it is it a dream like we we are from bangalore i'm born and raised here and why are we getting abused for no reason i'm saying if there was a mistake from our side if we had done something wrong if bowen had hit somebody or if he had told something nothing like we were just having food we just had food in uh, karama restaurant we had and we got out polikishinagar yes karama Mosk restaurant road. mosk road ali we just had uh, dinner there me uh, and my sister and bowen we had food we just came out we got the vehicle from the valet parking we got into the car and we were leaving peacefully we were like we didn't have anything in our mind and these people from nowhere they come and in split second you had 30 people around your car banging your car and all around your car of course we were in a lot of uh, trauma me and my sister we didn't know what to do and luckily she was very smart to take a video and that is the reason why we have a proof that this happened otherwise i'm sure i was in a shock the minute bowen uh, felt that the chain was slipping from his neck he gave it to me he said just look at the chain i think they've just you know tried to steal the chain and then when i look at it it was cut so that's when we realize that these people are even coming to snatch chains from you and they were also putting the hand inside the car so they were trying to grab whatever they get like if it's cell phones whatever it's a car key whatever they want they were just trying to snatch it from the car so very unfortunate and the worst part is like bohan mentioned we have been campaigning for bangalore as bangalore is a safe city and i am born and raised in bangalore so i have always been telling everyone that bangalore has the best weather bangalore has the best uh, uh, you know safety uh, bangalore has the beautiful places everything bangalore is the best bangalore is number 1 but it's not safe for bangalore people only so is it wrong to talk kannada is it wrong to talk back is it wrong to enter into few areas these are the questions which arise as in uh area hog bar ditu yak hog bar du i'm saying why some are... yeah some people are telling us why did you even go there i'm like why did you go there i'm like why aren't we supposed to go like after being born here after being raised here we feel the whole of bangalore is safe there is no area there no one should tell us that you shouldn't go here you shouldn't go in. it is none of their places it's a public area everyone goes everywhere everyone is safe everywhere right and people are telling us why did you go there so that's the kind of image that has happened and with us when it happened with us when this trauma happened with us when bowen got injured the thing is sir i wouldn't have posted about it because even bowen told no let's just leave it it's okay you know at this point of time because elections are coming it's going to take a political thing so let's not do it but his wound wasn't getting healed his wound in the neck and his hands people have scratched him he's taken two tetanus injections how can a wife keep quiet i'm saying uh, if it happens like he mentioned if it happens to your family member will you keep quiet so i have been quiet i've been taking it in i'm like okay let me control let me control let me not post about it let me tell not tell anyone i was i am still in that shock i've still not come out of it and day before yesterday he again went for his second tetanus and because the doctor said it's not healing you need to get another one that's when you know it 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 took a toll on me i'm like no this is not right 
if you have done something wrong and then people react to it that is right without any mistake we being happy and peaceful we are peaceful people we run a foundation called bonam foundation we do social service we try to help people whatever we have i'm not saying we have done like you know some crores of rupees we have given people whatever lakhs we have earned sir we have given it to people yeah whatever work we could do we have helped orphan kids we have done do during covid during floods we have helped people we are peaceful people and we are we 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 have never thought of doing anything wrong to the society why why are these people coming against us and the another thought which i got is if they do it for us being public figures being in the yeah being actors being responsible citizens if they do it to us only what about the normal person there might be a person who is scared who might not even talk back they might bash his face and send him off he might not even go to the police and there might be so many cases now that you know i have posted it on twitter instagram and everywhere people are messaging ma'am even we had a bad experience even we had a bad experience people are writing it down everyone's telling even we are thinking now we'll go and give a complaint so if i have been a voice for such people who didn't have a voice i'm proud of it sir seriously and i really don't think i've done anything wrong even the police everyone is supporting they're all telling that yes you have to come out and give a give a complaint otherwise we won't be able to take any action so good that you guys came today even commissioner sir we even spoke to dayanand sir and we even spoke to raman gupta sir ala the additional uh, commissioner so they were all very nice and even acp geeta madam so they were all like you guys being public figures if you show interest and come out and give complaints like this there will be a lot more other people who have been traumatized like this even for them this is going to be a message that when there is a problem please come to the police we are here to protect you so we 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 respect the system we respect our uh, um, the, the way things are happening around so we we hope that we get justice and uh, such things should be stopped sir because end of the day we are all humans we are all uh, uh, what do i say like uh, we we've all uh, uh, evolved as to be good people not to harm another person our parents have brought up us telling you should be good try to do good things if you can't do anything but don't do don't talk to them don't do anything but do good if you can do good so we have been brought up like that and we want we want it to be that way complete our putting you have to today we just went to the commissioner's office and uh, we have given the complaint official complaint kurta uh, gaye so they have told that they look into the cctv footages and they'll uh, uh take it seriously and let us know uh nanke system mein namke ide sir i really respect the system i respect our uh, uh police department i respect uh everybody in the police department because even that day this is one message i want to give all the people uh 1 2 2 alapa 1 1 one one two so any panic ha um, attacks or any um, not panic attacks i mean in such situations panic situations happen uh, you have to you have this number i mean which you can contact which we didn't know i'm so sorry that is the reason that we could not reach out to the police so one one two is the number if you contact one one two uh the cops are going to come to you within 7 minutes so now with maad bekittu namge we we didn't know that but uh, um namma tara situation nimge agiddalli nimge aadre future alli agbardu i i hope nobody goes through what we went through but if in case you come in come in a situation where you get mobbed by few people or you think someone's following you or whatever it is 112 is the number please contact and the cops are going to come and save you right away.